Hello, and welcome to My Daily Planners. Today, I will demonstrate our LifeWork digital planner on iPad Pro using GoodNotes app. To use the hyperlinks and navigate the planner, first, turn off the Apple Pencil by clicking the pencil icon in the top right corner. To write in the planner, turn it back on. Our planners come in PDF format and are compatible with other apps on iPad and iPad Pro, such as NoteShelf, Notability, and can also be used on Android and PC devices. This digital planner contains over 50,000 links, meaning you will be able to navigate with ease between its yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily pages. At the beginning of each planner is the contents page that will also allow you to navigate the planner. You can always go back to this contents page by clicking on this small ribbon in the top right corner. Aside from regular planner pages, this planner includes dozens of additional templates to help you customize your planner to the fullest. We will get back to those in just a bit. First, choose the current year, and from the calendar page, you can click on any week or jump directly to those planner pages. The planner also has tabs on the right that will lead you to monthly pages of the active year. Once you have chosen the current month from the monthly pages, you can choose to go to weekly or daily page of that month. All the dated pages are interlinked, so you can always jump between daily, weekly, and monthly pages. Let me show you. Let's go to September 20. And from there, we can go to the yearly calendar page by clicking on the year. Now, let's go to September's monthly page. And go back the same way. And finally, access the weekly page. And go back the same way as well. The monthly page will let you have the entire month at a glance. Zoom in for more writing space. Jump to any weekly or daily page from the current month or from the next month as well. Notice these icons in the top right corner? They will take you to corresponding extra sections of the planner from every monthly, weekly, and daily page. From the monthly page, you can access the corresponding habit tracker, budget and monthly overview page, important dates, and yearly overview. I will just demonstrate them shortly. Pay attention to how you can easily go back and forth between the linked pages. Weekly pages are designed in a way that will let you organize your week by different areas of your life and work and you can use the stickers to reassign the fields to fit your needs. Using the icons in the top right corner, you can get to corresponding weekly pages, such as weekly notes, weekly schedule, and weekly overview, aside from the monthly extra pages that we just showed you. From every extra weekly page, go back to the main weekly page in just a click. There is a week ribbon on every extra weekly page. Let's open a daily page. Here, you can plan your daily schedule and tasks in more detail. You can also track your eating habits and activity. Note who to call, text, or email, draw or take notes. There is so much you can do with this daily page. Again, use the top right corner icons to get to corresponding weekly and monthly pages. Note that you can go back to the current day or month from any extra page. Let me show you.
you will notice this set of icons in the top left corner on any page of the planner. Those will take you to page templates that you can use and duplicate as needed. They are not dated, so you can either clear and reuse them or duplicate and insert inside the planner after a monthly, weekly, or daily page for easier access. Never delete these pages because the links to them will no longer work. You can just clear the contents by choosing Clear Page Option in GoodNotes. For example, let's take this meal planner page, copy it, and paste after a weekly page in the planner. If you decide to use these templates within their sections, here is a neat trick how to always have the current template accessible in just a click and keep the old ones that you already filled in. Once you fill in a page, Duplicate it like so. Then use the clear page option like before on the first linked page. And just swipe once to see the page that you already filled in before. Aside from these, there is a whole additional set of page templates that you can use depending on your needs. Again, these are not dated pages, but templates that you can copy and insert anywhere in the planner or just use them where they are as shown before. Let's browse them through. Going back to contents, there is one more detail I want to show you. You can add pages within the planner whenever you need them. For example, after a daily page, if you need more writing space, just go to the contents page and choose the template page, copy it, and duplicate it wherever you like. You can also insert some of these pages or any other contents that you like between these project separators that you can access from any page in the planner by clicking these numbers. Just write the name of your project and insert as many pages as you like within. Thank you for your time. Visit our channel for more demonstration and how-to videos. If you have any questions or requests, write me in the comments below. Cheers!